Today I'll be going over the RN42 serial port protocol Bluetooth module and how to connect a pair of them together. This method will only require the serial communication, so even though I have the RN42 evaluation kit, this will apply to whatever RN42 application you have as well. I'm going to plug in the two RN42 modules into my laptop, and you can see the two RN42 modules are blinking. And here are where my two RN42 modules are, at COM5 and COM6. So I just need that information when starting up PuTTY. So I'm going to open up one, and it's at 1500, 200, baud, and this is one of them. So if I type in three consecutive dollar signs, I enter this command mode. And by using the plus, I can echo whatever it is I type. Otherwise, you won't get that feedback, and it's just kind of nice. And sometimes these can be a little finicky. Just If a command that you enter doesn't work right away, you can just hit enter a few times, and uh, usually that kind of works for me. So, so I got one, and then I'm going to start the other one. So by hitting D, you can get kind of the normal general settings to pop up. Here I named one of them RN42-2 for the second module, and this one's RN42-1. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make my RN42-1 the master device, and this one's going to be the slave. So I'm just going to get going on the procedure to get this master to connect to the slave. Now the first step is that if you notice, the module that I intend to be a master is now currently a slave device. So what I need to do is I need to use the sm command to set that, oops, to set that to a master device. So now you can see it's a master. Now the next thing you want to do is that this value right here holds the value to the Bluetooth address of your remote module. So here, I want to set this to be equal to the Bluetooth MAC address of this slave device. So you do that with the SR command and 0006666AC54C. And then if you hit D again, you can see that the remote address is now populated. Now use the SA command because here the authentication is zero or is one, I mean. And when it's one, the device is going to request that a pin code is entered when another device attempts to connect to it. And since you don't have a method to enter in the pin code with one RN42 device, you need to set this value to zero so that way it won't request for the pin. So you need to use the SA command. So SA0, we'll set that to zero. And you need to do the same thing on the slave device. Now after this, you have to reboot to keep your settings. And I'm going to enter a command again. And I'll reboot this one too. Okay, so now I'm going to use the W on the slave device to wake the slave. And then over on the master, use C to connect. And now you can see that the green LEDs are now solid, which means the devices are now connected to each other. So this is my master window. And so if I try to type You can see no text appeared here, but all the text appeared in the slave device. So that just proves that we're connected to each other. So what's happening is that I'm sending these ASCII key characters in the master window. It's going out the master RN42 being received by the slave device and populating inside this window. And if I highlight the slave, and I type in here,
you can see now that information appears in the master window. Now there's one other thing that's, oops, uh, crap. Well, there's one other thing that I want to cover, which is, uh, let's say you want on power up for the devices to connect to each other automatically. What you need to do is you don't want this to be master anymore. If you look at the help for SM, you have these various options. What you want is the auto option, which is the auto master. So on power up, what you want your module to do is to automatically reconnect to your slave device. So I'm going to use SM3. Oh, well, let's try again. SM3. So now I'm in auto mode. Now if I reboot my master, it'll become disconnected for a little bit. But now they'll reconnect again.